10 Common Mistakes You're Making When Drinking Whiskey and How to Fix Them. Hi guys, a whiskey welcome to you. In this video, we're gonna dispel the 10 most common whiskey mistakes so you can fully appreciate this amazing drink. Before we start, pour another glass and hit the subscribe button to learn more about the world of whiskey. Let's daydream. Imagine after having a hectic day at the office, wanting to sit back in the calm of a bar and enjoy your drink of choice, wondering about the meaning of life. Okay, not to get so existential on you, what would you order? Whiskey, right? But which one? And are you making any mistakes while ordering? Is this trip of your solitude going to give you a bitter hangover the next morning? Is it going to make you feel good tipsy or bad tipsy? Are you going to be in a brawl mindset? Mistake one, not choosing the correct poison. Single malt, blended, aged, or Irish, what's your poison? Do you know your poison? I was confused for a long time about what my poison was. When it comes to whiskey, it can be really hard to know what to order. What is the difference between single malt, blended, and bourbon? First of all, how do you tell the difference? Now, have you ever tried the blindfold whiskey game? Try it. The kind of whiskey depends mainly on the type of grain used, the type of cask, and where it was made. All these differences determine differences in flavor and taste. So knowing what kind of whiskey makes you feel elated is essential. So the first thing to do this weekend is to responsibly try all those flavors and kinds and settle on your favorite one. Mistake 2. Not letting it breathe. Whenever you feel Scottish, feel free to try your hands on the finest scotch. Now what's a rule of thumb? When drinking scotch, it is best to swirl around the coat of the glass. Just let the scotch breathe as the Scottish do. Besides air, it is best to drop a little bit of water in it to open the taste and takes the sting out. Now take a sniff, then a sip, and enjoy the flavor. Mistake 3. Mixing ice in the drink. Mixing ice in scotch is a Scottish faux pas because it kills the taste and dulls the flavor, so neat should be the go-to. However, you can, and perhaps you should, add some drops of water to open the flavor profile of the whiskey. Mistake 4. Drinking high-end. Those of you who want to get into scotch and start out drinking should know that it is better to start with sort of your lowland or space side style. Now what's this lowland and space side twist? Well, the lowland, like your Glen Kimchi, is definitely a lot lighter on the palate. Remember, you probably have to go to your 9 to 5 tomorrow. You can also start with the space side, and that's sort of like a Balvenie or a Glenlivet. It's definitely more of a sweeter, fruitier tone, and then progressing from there, you've got the Highland, which is a little bit spicier. Mistake 5. Not reading the bottle. When reading your bottle of whiskey, look for the year profile. The year profile indicates the age of the whiskey in the oak cask in which it was aging. It could be 30 years or a minimum of 3 years. The older the whiskey, the more exotic the rule of thumb we are following. Though aged whiskey costs more and can't be advised for regular bar hopping, it can be a treat for you and your loved one on special occasions. Or, aged whiskey can be a very good way to make an impression. Mistake 6. The right way to drink whiskey. Now, this one is hard since everyone has their own preferences and opinions, and this subject attracts strong opinions from either side of the aisle. So we're going to be neutral, just consider us Switzerland. So let's tackle the issue of the right way to drink whiskey. One basic rule that gets the approval of every whiskey connoisseur is that the right way to drink whiskey is the way you enjoy it. Mistake 7. Using the wrong glasses. Whatever whiskey glass you have, choose the one that has a tapered end as it accumulates the vapor when you swirl the whiskey. Now when you swirl, which is very, very important when it comes to enjoying the full flavor profile of whiskey, let your nostril do the talking first and your taste buds later, as it will create an olfactory aroma in your sense and gives the best experience. Mistake 8. Not giving neat a chance. 
Whenever you are in the market for a new whiskey brand or open a gift, at least give Neat Whiskey a chance before mixing it or putting it on the rocks. In other terms, if you go to a nice steakhouse and you order a nice juicy steak, are you immediately going to put salt and pepper on it, or will you give the thing a chance first without changing its true nature? Mistake 9. Adding too much water now, even the snobbiest of the whiskey snob would never wrinkle their forehead over someone putting water in their whiskey. Now, what does the water do? It can kind of open the nose of the whiskey up. It can flavor the whiskey up. It can bring that stingy sensation a little down so that your taste bud can better evaluate the flavor in the whiskey. Sometimes when the whiskey is hard, like the barrel-proof stuff, the burn can be so intense that it can overwhelm your taste buds. So sometimes it is better advised to serve your taste buds with a little hint of water in your whiskey. So are all whiskeys better with water? Well, we prefer most whiskey neat because sometimes adding too much water can make your whiskey go flat or uneven the taste. So whenever you decide to add water, go with your preference, but give neat a chance first. Mistake 10. Not knowing your brand. Whiskey, 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 which one to choose? Well, Whatever your moment of celebration is, we're going to show you seven whiskey brands that everyone should have on their whiskey shelf. The first one is Blue Run 14. Well, this one is expensive and damn tasty. Go for it if you can get your hands on it. The second one is the Woodford Reserve. Now, this golden brown color liquid elixir is gold in its taste and flavor profile. Now the third one is the Old Forester 1920. This elixir comes at a very reasonable price. It is part of the Whiskey Rose series, and in my opinion, the crown jewel of the company. Now this is called the Prohibition style because it has a heritage with the era of Prohibition. The fourth one is Wild Turkey 101. Now this was called Kicking Chicken, reasonable price and exquisite taste. And recently they've come out with a really good looking new bottle. Now this is a great all-purpose bourbon. It has a nice bit of spice and still maintains a nice sweetness. Now the fifth one is Russell's Reserve. These barrels are hand-selected and the hand selection makes them classic and crafted to suit your style. The price points are right there in your whole house. The sixth one is Jack Daniels. Now Jack Daniels is the most iconic whiskey. You can't have a whiskey collection without Jack Daniels on the shelf. This single barrel proof stuff is delicious and it drinks like exotic. And the stuff is truly good with outstanding flavor and a gorgeous bottle. Jack Daniels is bound to rule your drinking regime. The seventh one is Pikesville Straight Rye. Now this product has aged a minimum of six years and this bottle comes with at least 51% rye. Now it's up to you to taste and appreciate the rye characteristic of the rye whiskey, but why shouldn't you try it? Drinking Responsibly. Now after all this whiskey talk, you might be in the mood to go out with your friends and loved ones, pick a nice bar, or sit with your calm and joy and enjoy the best of the whiskey brand. Before you go out, remember, don't drink and drive. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to Whiskey Wise. Cheers, and see you next time.